subscribe. Subscribe. And then what else? Click the notification button. So that you can get notified for every video, right? Yeah. And what else? Give it a big thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> Thank you guys. You heard her. You know, you have to take her advice. Follow us on this journey. All right, guys. My power has gone out. So I figured it's the best time for us to um, uh, record a video. Plus, I did have a shipment today that came in. Uh, which is the algae barn, uh, Chato algae, as well as pods and um, uh, yeah, that's it. So, anyways, um, I figured it would, this would be a good time to show y'all what my sump looks like. Is what it looks like. Um, it'd be this area right here where I would put in the chato. Oh, it's a golf ball size. I, I wanna see if it will live. And if it does, then hey, it will grow and I didn't have to spend so much on, on a big package. Um, I hung up some lights here so that I could put lights in the uh, sump area. Oh, <laughs> I did say that my power's out. But some seem to be unsticking, so I'll be using super glue to glue those uh, to those areas where it did, it's coming off. Um, that being said, uh, here's the sump area again. And this is where I will be adding a light that I bought from Amazon. So this right here, guys, is the light that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, it was, God, I think it was $30, but anyways. So it's a waterproof LED grow light used for uh, growing plants in the green room pretty much um, this is what it looks like it is honestly very very small which I think is good because I only wanted to cover the area where the refrigerant is at um, here's the heat sink plate the light itself and a hanging kit which I will definitely use for with a power cable and an on and off switch which I think I'm going to actually use to program it on those smart outlets to come on at night uh, and do an opposite schedule to the actual lights of the reef tank um, but anyways here's what I received on uh, for algae barn Let me open this up because it's very well packaged. There's not even a, looks like it was vacuum sealed. So this is what I received, a uh, clean shadow. Very small, uh, hand, you know, just handful. I, I, honestly, I, I only have a few fish in there that are creating a, a small bio load. Uh, so figured why not start with something small and the more fish I add, the more there will be, right? Uh, these as well. Let's see if uh, these are alive still. Looks like they are. So I'll be adding these. I'm debating if uh, to add just like half and leave the other half, or uh, you know, being that there's not enough chato for them to live in. Um, and some of this small little uh, life phytoplankton for them and these came since I, I did the small package uh, for a small sump uh, I already have the um, marine pure blocks that are huge so I probably will add this to my tank upstairs um, and you know go from there for for these all right guys, so um, I finished uh, connecting the fuge light. Um, I'll leave a link below, so in case you're interested, uh, it's something that I, I'm hoping it will work. I will definitely keep you all posted if it does, but I uh, just wanted to show you all it uh, being installed. So here it is. I used the plant hanger up here, and this uh, hanging equipment came with the light already. 
Um, so this is what it looks like. There's the Chato that I put in with the uh, bio blocks, cubes, whatever you call them. Um, I already had some live rock in there. I actually had a lot more, but I'll show y'all what I did here in a minute. Um, so here, here's what the light looks like. Of course, you're not gonna be able to see exactly what it looks like, but through the reflection, you can see how it's those middle diodes that are actually light up and, and give that red light. Um, so yeah. So as I mentioned on my uh, previous video, uh, I had to remove all of the corals from the tank that I have upstairs from the Red Sea because they were suffering from whatever it was that was in the water that was affecting them. Um, I filled this tank up with the uh, Fritz uh, Salt Mix Pro, the blue box. Uh, and so far, everything is looking way better than it did over there. That one right there, that guy is the... Uh, there, there goes my finger. The orange uh, hammer. That one's the bicolor one where the green stem and, and the purple tips. That one has not completely recovered, but it's supposed to be a yellow hammer. Um, my stylo, as you can see, some of the polyps are finally coming out, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, here are some frags that I had to, that I had on the other tank and had to um, break off and put them on this tank. That one there is supposed to be a, uh, a, a bubblegum digi, but it looks like it's not gonna be coming back. Uh, that one, they told me the name, but I'll be honest, I don't remember. Um, that one is a Lobo. That one is a Bauer Banky. Uh, Satosa, part of the um, Purple Stylo. This came from uh, Worldwide Aquariums. I forgot exactly what it's called. As you know, these are Duncans, and those heads are finally coming out a bit. Um, this one was an elegance that was dying already, but it's starting to extend again. Uh, Gorgonian. Let's see. This one is a toxic green Australian torch. Uh, I actually just bought this when I started noticing that everything was doing way better. I decided to go get a few more. Um, rags of things because as you know with during this lockdown it's a little bit boring and the fish stores are open and I wanted to support them so decided to buy this one uh, this one's supposed to be a rainbow uh, tracky um, but the color now is just green apparently these are the Australian green hairy mushrooms there's that and then there's a frag right here um, and those are uh, shoot I forgot a cans yeah uh, so that's it. I'll probably be adding more. Uh, the only issue I'm having now is that I have these Coral Life compact lights that I'm setting on top and they produce a lot of heat. And because of that, my tank is at, let's see, a, almost 82 degrees. Um, so I did order from Bulk Reef Supply a Z-Lite uh, fixture that would be perfect for this QT tank. Um, and uh, that way we can uh, reduce the heat in this tank because these are literally at that edge of burning out due to uh, hot water. Uh, but that being said, um, everything else is looking really good and, uh, and so pretty happy with it. Now we had a power outage today and I mentioned that a little earlier on the video. Um, and on my other video, you would see that I have actually added some Ecotech uh, power supplies as well as some uh, uh, forgot what it's called it, it's from Coral View it's the other power supplies uh, that I mentioned on my previous video um, they work perfect the lights went out and the pumps kept running the only places where the pumps did not run because I don't have any battery backup is these tanks my QT tanks um, but I ended up going to Petco to buy these uh, air stones uh, battery operated and they worked great for the few hours that the power was out I bought two for the 55 gallon where I have my Australian Tusk that I mentioned on one of my previous videos and my Gold Flake Angel in here there's also a Dusumeri Tang a Atlantic Blue Tang and a Yellow Coal Yellow Eye Coal Tang 
Um, oh, and as well as a an angel. Darn, I forgot the name of it, but that's the guy right there. So I had bought two to put in this. Only one worked, so I gotta return the other one. Luckily, the lights are back and we're back in business. So I'm gonna make sure to go get it replaced so that I can always have it on standby in case it happens, because for some reason or another, uh, we always have a power outage here at least once, twice every two to three months. Um, it's just, they, they, when we first moved here, they had said that, you know, they don't happen, but since I've been here, we've had at least a dozen, maybe more. Um, but anyways, that being said, uh, here goes Apollo and Hera. Yeah, hey Hera. <laughs> hey Apollo. Um, that being said, uh, that's all I have for today. So, um, I'll keep you posted on how this grow light uh, works and hopefully um, we get some chato growing um, another thing I did want to keep in mind as well is that now I see that this has it seems to have a lot of spread um, it hits somewhere somewhere right over here but some reflection makes it hit all the way over here and I'm afraid that I'm gonna start getting uh, build up in there so I may I have the ability to put this light lower to like right over here but I'm not sure if that would burn out the uh, the chato so um, debating it we'll see how it goes and, and go from there all right guys well I appreciate you tuning in and watching I'd really appreciate it again if you subscribe comment like um, and I'll see you on the next video while, while I was sitting here uh, editing this video, I noticed that I show my quarantine tank and I know you saw the uh, Harlequin Tusk and the um, Coflake Angel. And so I figured I'd just add a little extra to this video and show y'all when they came in and you know when I started sort of acclimating them and never ended the video by showing y'all once they were in the tank. Uh, so here's a few, uh, a minute or two of um, you know, showing them in the bucket while I'm gonna be acclimating them and I won't make it too long I just figured I'd add a little extra to the video. All right guys. Well again. Thank you for watching I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe I'd really appreciate it if you like the video if you comment I like to chat with y'all so definitely comment um, and we'll uh, see you on the next video Received the live Aquarius shipment today. I did forget to start recording from the very beginning Since I did want to show you know just the process. I'm sure you've seen it many a times the, I floated the bags in the water for about an hour and now what I'm doing is opening the bags and I'm going to put them both in the same bucket. Um, what I did as well was add, uh, as you can see, the white deal right there, the, it's a lid. I added a little bit, a few drops of prime so that the ammonia doesn't build up once you open this bag and, and then I'm going to start drip acclimating them. So uh, as you can see here is the gold flake angel um, and we'll get to see more of it here in a minute so here is this guy uh, just dumped him in he's he's pretty large as expected um, but as you can see he's trying to uh, get some air I guess you know this is just stress levels and you know the the bags been you know they've been in the bag for quite a bit of time uh, so I'm about to start drip acclimating them and uh, hopefully everything turns out right.